hello developers welcome back next in the view 3 series we will see teleport component the objective of this teleport component is that it allow us to move specific html template from one location to another location of the dom now why we might want to do this in your html template some styles that requires fixed or absolute positioning the most common examples for that are models notification the ideal place for models are right before the closing body tag to ensure they are properly placed in front of the other part of the web page so if your model is used inside the component then we want to display html of the model just before the closing tag of the body to implement this there is no proper design pattern for that so here the use of teleport comes in if you didn't get it don't worry i will explain it when i will show you the example of model first let's see how we can use teleport so in the components directory here i'll create a new directory let's say teleport and in this directory i'll create teleport example component and here in h1 tag let's say teleport example now let's register this component in the app.view so first let's comment this and here i'll import components teleport teleport example now in the components let's comment this and here i'll register teleport example component now here comment this v model example and add teleport example component tag now let's see this in the browser if it is working and here we have teleport example it is working now in the teleport example now let's say here we have a paragraph tag and it should be outside teleport example component now if you go to browser and here we have text right now both this h1 and this text is inside the teleport example component now here what i want i want this text should be outside the teleport example component to be more specific let's add a div tag and add both of the paragraph and h1 tag inside the div tag now here i am going to add style border one pix solid now go to browser this border area shows the teleport example component and i want this tag should be outside of it we can implement this with the help of teleport let's see so we are going to wrap this paragraph tag with the teleport component tag now this teleport has a two attribute in this two attribute we will specify the selector of the destination where we want to render this paragraph tag let's say the destination selector name is the hash destination now we need to create a div element with the id destination our view app is rendered in the public index.html so right here just below the app div i will create div id is equal to destination now here you must be remember that the teleport destination must be outside the view app if we see the main.js the app is mounted in the hash app id right here in this div so our destination must be outside this div the reason for this is that the view app is in the virtual dom so if uh, the real dom and the virtual dom is not synced then this portal going to create some troubles so to be safe it must be outside the view app now let's go to browser and see if uh, this teleport works and here you can see this text is outside this container now if we see in the inspect tool 
and here is the destination div and here is the paragraph tag with the text now if you see this tag without teleport you will see destination tag is empty and and this text is the inside the teleport example component uncomment this and now it is outside of the teleport example component this teleport also has a attribute disabled if it is true then this teleport not going to work and this paragraph tag will be inside the teleport example component let's see and this text is inside the component if i say disabled false now it is outside the component we can also set this dynamically let's see let's say we have a set of function and it has a const let's say disable teleport is equal to ref and initially it is false and next here i am going to return disable teleport now here i'll create a button toggle teleport on click this button toggle this teleport so here i'll say at click this disable teleport is equal to opposite of disable teleport and we also need to bind this disable teleport right here also with this disabled attribute now go to browser right now this text is outside the component and if we see the destination div and here is the paragraph tag with the text on click this toggle teleport button you can see now this text is appeared in the component and the destination div is empty let's see this inside the teleport component here is the paragraph tag on click this the paragraph tag is removed from the component and moved inside the destination div right here now what if you have multiple teleport in the same destination let's try this and this is the teleport text to let's remove this disable from here in the browser and it is appended in the same destination and if we toggle it works fine let's see one more example of teleport with the models so here i'm going to create a new component let's say component name is v model dot view and here is the in su tag model now in the teleport example component here i'm going to import v model and let's register in the components v model component now here i am going to add v model component tag and now go to browser and here is the model now let's create the model so first here we need div and let's say its class name is model next i will create and tag to close model and i'll create one more div its class name is model content for now let's add lorem text here now let's create some styles for them so in the style right here model class and for now let's say position is absolute and z index triple nine left zero top zero and width is 100 percent height is 100 percent next i'll add background color next we will create style for this model content as well so here i'll say dot model content first let's add its background color white and margin 
फिफ्टीन परसेंट फ्रॉम टॉप एंड आउट ऑफ फोर सेंटर नेक्स्ट आई लैड पैडिंग से ट्वेंटी पिक्स एंड लेस एड वेट फाइव हंड्रेड पिक्स एंड फाइनली लेस एड बॉर्डर एज वेल वन पिक्स सो लेड नाउ ले and here is the model let's create style for this close button as well so dot close padding is 10 pixels and cursor pointer color is triple a gray float right and next font size let's say 28 pixels and font weight bold now let's see this in the browser and here the model is ready next we need to make it dynamic so so let's say here we have set up method and const is open Draft initially it is false. Next, I'll create function hide, and here I'll say is open dot value is equal to false, and next is the function show, and here is the is open dot value is equal to true. Next, we will need to return them. Return is open hide and show next here in this model we will say v hyphen show if is open and next on click this close we will hide the model now go to browser by default the model is not visible if i set is open true the model is visible now and on click this close the model will hide so let's set this default false now in the teleport example component here i'll create a button show model and on click this button i will call method show model now let's create this function function show model and let's return this show model right here now how we can show this model from here so for that here i'll create const model is equal to wrap initially it is null now i'm going to return that model here and in this v model i'll say wrap is equal to model here what it going to do it going to create a reference for this model inside this model variable and now we can access this model using this model variable inside the show model function so here we can say model dot value dot show model dot value this model and then in this model we will call this function right here now let's see show model and it has displayed the model on close this hide this model right now in this model this lorem text is hard coded we don't want that here i'll create slot like this and now we can display the content of the model from here and here we can add lorem text now this text is from the teleport example component to make sure let's change this text to from teleport example component and here it is it is changed let's change this to lorem text now here the model is working fine we have no issue now what if the parent element of this teleport example component has a position relative let's see this so in the app dot view let's wrap this teleport example component 
inside a div and let's say this div has a width 600 pics and height is also 600 pics and its position is relative now if we go to browser now at this time if i open this model you will see it is not full screen now here you can see our model is not covering the entire web page it is inside this div which has position relative similarly if i add some other css property for example let's say here i add font size 28 pics and you will see the size of the model text also increased and we don't want that so to solve this kind of issue we have a teleport so now we will wrap this model inside the teleport component like this and here we will specify to the destination where it should render now go to browser refresh and now if i click show model and now it is in front of the web page and covering the entire page here this selector can be a id selector like this or a class selector or a data selector like this in the square bracket or you can also bind this dynamically using this colon this is all in this lesson i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like the tutorial hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.